oh my gosh okay these are what they look like <laughs> these are what they look like if you didn't know what they look like okay thanks yep that's the other one they look the same they're it's the same shoe <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll be posting on Sundays weekly and maybe a couple other days during the week, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those. But anyways, today I'm gonna be doing the 2018 favorites video. And I'm gonna be talking about all of the best things, products, music, everything in 2018. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with music first and I'm gonna name a few of my favorite artists of the year and a couple of my favorite tracks from each of them. This is probably gonna be the longest category because I love music. I am a music industry minor at WVU, so it's kind of my life, no big deal. I'm gonna start off with my top four artists of the year. I have been obsessed with these artists. They're not necessarily new, and they're not necessarily all in one genre, but I am literally so obsessed with all of them. The first one is Queen, and Queen has been one of my favorite bands since I was like, literally four years old. I've been listening to Queen so much this year and just kind of rediscovering all their music. And my favorite track from them currently is called Cool Cat. It's from their Hot Space album, I think. It's really good, so go check it out if you like Queen. It's kind of like a deep cut, but it's so good. The second band that I have been loving this year that I kind of rediscovered as well is the Beastie Boys. I love the Beastie Boys. I love old school hip hop, but they're kind of like a hip hop and rock fusion. I absolutely love Beastie Boys. They're totally my mood like all the time. My favorite song by them is pretty basic, I know, but it's intergalactic. It's one of their most popular songs, but it's so freaking good. And I play for you right now, but I don't want to get copyrighted. So just go listen to it. I'm going to make a playlist actually of all my favorite songs of 2018. I'll link it down below and you guys can go listen to all my favorite tracks from this year or well, last year because it's January 1st, but you know what I mean. Okay, the next band is a new band to me. I don't know how old they actually are, but I, guys, I love this band. It's Unknown Mortal Orchestra. It's kind of a mouthful, but they're kind of like, oh, how do I describe them? They're like disco, but kind of like Tame Impala, like, mixed i don't really know but they're so freaking good and they're actually on the firefly lineup so i know they're like getting big or whatever they're just a really cool like sound it's like doesn't fit into some genre but i don't know they're so good and my favorite song by them is honeybee which is again one of their most popular ones but um definitely go check it out because they're literally amazing. The next band is not gonna be surprising for people who know me, but the 1975, I have been listening to them so much this year. I mean, as per usual, and if you guys know them, you know that they just came out with an album, and it's absolutely amazing. I mean, obviously, because it's the 1975, so. Obviously. But, I absolutely love it, and my favorite current song of their new album right now has to be It's Not Living If It's Not With You. Go check it out. It's a cool story behind it. The whole album is just so well written, and there's so many layers, and it's just like, they're just so good. They're literally so good. If you disagree with me, we can't be friends, so I'm really sorry, but like, that's... That's a, that's a deal breaker. And a couple other artists that I have been loving a lot this year, the honorable mentions is Zayn, Son Holo, The Killers, Miguel, and Tyler, The Creator. I could literally talk for days about all of those artists. I love them so much. And I've been listening to them for like a few years now, but just this year they really stood out. Um, I saw The Killers at Firefly, so that's why I listened to them a lot. Zayn, is Zane and we love Zane, so that's an obvious one. He also came out with a new album. I forget what it's called. It's called like Icarus Falls or something. I don't know, but it's so good. Go listen to it. Also, San Holo, if you like EDM, you know who he is. I am in love with him. He's got a girlfriend, but we're getting married. You know what I mean? He is just, oh, he's so good. He's just, he's so good. That's all I have to say. 
that's it that's the tweet and miguel everyone loves miguel and i've loved him for so many years but he came out with an album called war and leisure like a few years ago maybe two years ago i don't know and i still listen to it almost every day he is so amazing like i want him to sing at my wedding i, I want to like if i ever get rich enough i'm just gonna hire him to like sit in my kitchen and sing all day i i love him he has the voice of an angel no joke and tyler the creator we we love tyler the creator i'm seeing him at firefly this year and i'm so excited he's amazing all of his songs are amazing his new album flower boy well it's not new now but like it's good um his old stuff's good everything he, he's so funny i'm obsessed with him i really do want to marry him I wanna marry a lot of people if you didn't catch that. And then a couple more honorable mentions that are kind of smaller artists but are still so good is Missing No, Temperix, Burial, and Toro y Moi. Um, if you guys don't know who they are, go check them out on this playlist I'm gonna make. Again, they're so awesome. And if you wanna discover some new music or if you kinda of wanna get an idea of what kind of music I listen to, these are a really good representation. Some, a lot of like ambient instrumental kind of um, vibes i don't know but i love them all so for clothing i have a few favorites just some staples that i've worn throughout the year pretty much every day that's why i don't post on instagram a lot because i just wear the same clothes every single day because i'm obsessed with them but we're getting better okay 2019 we're gonna try to step up the instagram it's really bad right now um if you don't follow me you should go follow me linked in the description but i kind of suck with instagram so we're stepping that up this year, but I have to say that my favorite shirts is this Goodwill shirt, which I will post a picture of me in right here. It is so amazing. I found it a couple years ago, and I've literally had people try to buy it off my back. Like, I don't know what, it's just, it's so nice, and it's so comfy. It looks good with everything. Like, oh, it's my holy grail. I love it. I also have this green jacket from Goodwill. I'll try to find a picture if I can. It's kind of like a windbreaker material and I love this jacket. It's green and blue and it just goes with everything. It's perfect. I'm obsessed with it. That's it. Another favorite of mine is actually, I'm wearing them right now. These, okay, I'm gonna fall over. These Air Force Ones, I love my Air Force Ones. I got them, I think last November maybe and they're kind of, raunchy i know but i wear these things almost every single day once i got them my sister had to get a pair because she loves to you know copy uh, me but i don't i just wanted them because they're cute but anyways i absolutely love these shoes they just go with everything you can dress them up you can dress them down you can literally wear them with anything Another favorite of mine are my Doc Martens. I'll insert a picture right here, but you probably know what Docs look like. I have also been wearing these a ton. I will say I've had them since, I've had them for maybe four years and I haven't broken them in, which is like really bad, I know. But I finally started wearing them like regularly this year and they're so versatile. They literally go with anything. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. They're amazing. They're so amazing. And yes, I had them before. Everyone in the entire world had them this past year. I got them for Christmas or whatever. I literally had them four years ago, so. Okay, so the last two clothing items that have been my favorite this year, I'm wearing both of them. The first one are my gold earrings, which are just these little gold hoops. I don't even know where they're from. I think they're from, uh, no wait, H&M maybe? I don't know but i love them they're just simple and they go with everything they're literally my go-to earrings for pretty much any outfit i wear and the other thing that i'm wearing that is my favorite is these trousers which you can't really see but they're basically just plaid trousers from h&m and they're like a little bit cropped like they're so comfy they're cute they make you look like you're all dressed up even though you're you just threw them on i just love them i think they're great okay so for beauty products this year I usually kind of use the same stuff. I'm not one of those people that really try a bunch of stuff and that's the only reason why that's true is because I'm broke. So, you know, it is what it is. But my favorite products this year has got to be the Fit Me Foundation. I have like seven shades for when I like self tan and everything, but it's good, it works well, and it's pretty cheap. So I've been using that a ton. The Saint Tropez self tanner, I also love. I 
kind of got it recently but i've just in general been self tanning a lot this year and i love it because i am a pale ass bitch and i need self tanner if i want to be if i want to look remotely okay so i've been using it a ton and i'm in love i'm kind of obsessed i know it's not great but i just i can't stop it's really an issue but i love it so much the other thing i've been obsessed with is the nyx liquid lipsticks they have a ton of different like lines of them but just in general i've been using them all year i'm wearing one right now i don't know what color it is but it's like a mauvey nude color but they just stay on so well and they're matte and they just look great with everything and lastly my last favorite for beauty has got to be the jaclyn hill palette i got it for christmas last year and it's so versatile i've used almost every shade in it it's just like my favorite go-to palette okay so sorry for the little change in background my camera turned off i don't know why but anyway we were on the youtube category so i'm going to start off with um probably my favorite youtuber of all this year and that's got to be danielle carolyn um i'm going to link everybody down below but i love her content she's in like the beauty lifestyle kind of category and she is just so inspirational. She has the best outfits ever and her content is just so well produced. So I've been definitely loving her and getting a ton of inspiration from her. My next YouTuber that I love is Miss Remy Ashton. I am obsessed with her. She's literally my mom. I love her. And she just has, I don't know, everything that she vlogs is so interesting and her outfits are so cute. She's so motivational. She goes to the gym like every single day and I'm like, girl, I don't do that, but that's awesome. <laughs> Maybe one day I will, but I love her. She's so amazing and definitely, I just, oh, I'm so happy for her. She's literally my queen. I love her. The last YouTuber for lifestyle beauty category is Kaylee McKenzie. And I've been watching her again for like probably 10 years close to that and i love her i love her style she's definitely given me a ton of style inspiration and she dresses a lot differently than um most beauty fashion you know lifestyle youtubers and she lives in new york city but i absolutely love her style and i model a lot of my um clothing off of hers her style of vlogging and her style of videos is definitely different and unique but i really resonate with it so She's given me a ton of inspiration and really given me the courage to start dressing how I want to this um, past year because in the past I kind of just dress how other people dress or whatever's in style and whatever and I finally just got the courage to be like, you know what, I like how she dresses and I'm going to dress like that and I'm going to dress however the hell I want because... Who cares you know what i mean so i have definitely been obsessed with her channel this year okay so now for a random category something that i discovered this year is asmr and i freaking love it i literally am obsessed with asmr my favorite asmr artist is uh gentle whispering asmr her name is maria i literally feel like she's my mother again like i love her i could listen to her talk all day she's just totally sweet russian lady and she's literally my favorite so i've been obsessed with her channel this whole past year i love asmr it's amazing and now for the comedy section um there's been a few that are yeah pretty mainstream but i have literally never enjoyed comedy on youtube until i started watching these people i I am literally obsessed with all of these people and I've been watching them all year and they constantly just make me laugh and me and my sister will always just talk about, you know, who posted a vlog and what they did and whatever and I love these people. The first one is David Dobrik. We all know him. We all love him. He is so cute. He's hilarious. Hit I I don't know he's just he's great another couple youtubers that i have totally been loving this year is james charles and the dolan twins now i used to hate james charles and i really don't know why i'd never even watched his videos until this year but when i started watching them i became obsessed he's just so funny and so passionate and i don't know what it is about him but i am obsessed with him like i just want to be his friend i that's all i want to do so i've been loving him also the dolan twins i used to be obsessed with them i used to be a big fan i actually met them one time with jake paul a long time ago 
I am too lazy to find that picture to insert it, but I promise you I did. Um, and I've loved them forever, but I kind of just didn't watch them because I didn't really think they were funny for a while. But this year when the whole sister squad started, I became so obsessed with them. I They're so cute. They're so freaking funny. I love twins. I don't know why, but I just love twins and they're so funny. I'm obsessed with them. So definitely James Charles, Dolan Twins, and can you guess who the third one is? Hmm. Who can it be? Who can it be? If you guessed Emma Chamberlain, you are right. I, let me just say, let me just say, okay. I started watching Emma two summers ago. Was it two? Yeah, I started watching Emma two summers ago. She had 500,000 subscribers, which is still a lot, but I was like, you know, whatever. My sister was just like, oh, go watch her. And I was like, no, but I did. And I was like, oh, she's pretty funny. So I kept watching her and I, I you know, I was, became a big fan, bottom line, when she had 500,000 subscribers. Well, fast forward to a year and a half later and she has six million and I am literally so happy for her. I cannot believe, like that is insane for a YouTuber to go, to jump from that many subscribers to six million. That's like unheard of. And I'm literally so proud of her, but I just want to say that I'm not hopping on the bandwagon because I've been watching her forever. So don't even come for me because I seriously love her. I've loved her since she started. She's the best. Oh, I forgot someone. I forgot someone. Oh my gosh. How did I almost forget? I am so sorry. Danny Duncan. I am obsessed with him. I cannot believe I almost forgot. I am obsessed with him. He is so freaking funny. And I'm not even his demographic. His demographic is like... 12 year old boys, like literally 12 year old boys, that's who watches him, but I love him. Me and my sister are obsessed with him. I just wanna meet him. I just wanna be in his videos. Like, I just love him so much. Oh my gosh, and he's so stupid, but it's just hilarious. Like, oh, I just love him. So, Danny Duncan is definitely up there in the top YouTubers of the year. Okay, and the last category I have for you guys is movies and TV. Now, I have a few that I've watched. I've Watch obviously more than what's on this list, but these are the ones that totally stood out to me this year There are no particular order, but I just love these shows So the first one you guys are probably really tired of me talking about But my favorite movie of the year has to be call me by your name. It's amazing. I can't even explain it I just have, you know, if you know, you know. Literally, this is like the, the only description of this is if you know, you know. The second one is Bohemian Rhapsody, which I was talking about before. I love Queen. I've always loved Queen, and this movie just wrecked me. Oh my gosh. I mean, Freddie Mercury, it tells his story so well. It's just, it, he's such a glamorous person and he lives such a wonderful but such a sad life and it ended horribly and it, oh my gosh. I mean, it's heartbreaking but it's also just the most amazing story. I love Bohemian Rhapsody. If you like Queen at all, you need to watch it. If you don't like Queen, you need to watch it and then you will like them. Okay, and then my three favorite TV shows of this year has to be number one, The Carrie Diaries. I know that's so random because that came out like forever ago and I loved it. I was so mad when it ended. I was like, you're kidding me. Like there's only two seasons. Like this is a joke. Like where are the other ones? Like I, where are they? Cause this is not okay. The next TV show that I literally watched the entire five seasons of this show and I watched it literally all within a month. I totally binge watched this, but The Fosters, which again is like a really old kind of random show, but I started watching this and I was hooked. I watched the whole thing in like a month. I was so obsessed with it and I don't know, it's so good. If you like it, let me know because I feel like I'm the only one. I always tell people and they're like, what is that? Like, I, what? It's great, so definitely go watch that. And the last TV show I have to talk about is one that they never made. I think there was only like four episodes or something and I watched them all in a day and it was so freaking good and I wish that they would make like a sequel or like another season. I don't know why they aren't, but it was so good and it was right after I watched Stranger Things and that totally wrecked me as we all know and you know, 
I can't even talk about that because I'll get a little emo, but um, it's called End of the Effing World. We'll keep a PG in here, but I love this show. Oh my gosh. I think half of it was probably that they're English and I just love everything about England. Maybe that was why, but regardless, it was so freaking good. If you like Stranger Things, you need to go watch it because it's absolutely amazing. Okay, so that basically concludes my 2018 favorites, everything that I've been loving in 2018. Overall, I would have to say this year kind of sucked ass. It was pretty bad. It was pretty freaking bad, but those things were good. So they really got me through it. And I'm very excited for 2019 because 2018 is not gonna be hard to beat. So I know that 2019 is most likely gonna be better. And I'm very excited for the year to come and for YouTube and for college and for whatever happens. I think it's gonna be great. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I upload every Sunday. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, bye.